Hey, what's up, y'all? So right now, I'm actually taking out an ATM. I'm in the process of removing this ATM. Um, yeah, yeah, yep, let's do it. Yep, we'll do that. Yeah, just, I need the address. Just let me know the address. Okay, um, so I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more when I get back into the vehicle, but um, I am taking this ATM out and I'm gonna be putting it somewhere else um, and we're gonna see what happens, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back again. So real quick, I just picked up an ATM from a nail salon that I placed here. Um, and I actually made a video about placing this ATM here. And in that video, you'll hear me talking to the dude about how he had other resources to have other places where an ATM can go in. He also talked about how he was going to convert to cash only. And y'all heard him say that. Um, but it just didn't work out. They really never made that switch. The ATM wasn't doing well. We talked a little bit about it. I told him I was going to come pick it up. So I picked it up. But actually what he ended up doing, he is kind of looking out because he's sending me to another nail salon. But it's part of the game, y'all. Y'all need to understand this. If you're getting into this business, you guys have to understand that you're going to move ATMs. It's inevitably going to happen if you want to be successful. Um, you don't want ATMs just sitting that aren't performing well. You don't want to be putting it in a location and you think it's going to do well because there's going to be locations where you think they're going to do well and they're not going to do well. And if you're just lazy and like not really trying to move it because of whatever reason, you're just not going to be making money. And, um, you know, that's not how you want to run your business. So you have to adapt and overcome. And it is what it is, okay? But the only way that you're going to find out is if you place your ATM and do what you got to do. Um, and quite frankly, to be honest, some of these, you know, ATMs that don't do well and don't perform well, and when they do finally get moved and you put them in a new location, sometimes you're going to find some gems. It happened to me, okay? Um, so I just want to leave this here um, and take y'all with me as I go move this location or move this ATM into a new location, which is, I think he said it was his niece or, you know, some relative um, that's in the area as well. Um, but he said they'll do a lot better there because I think they're actually cash only. I don't know. I'm not going to take his word. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to sit down with the lady, talk to her, um, see how things are going and, and just kind of see if we're going to make it happen. But it's part of the game, y'all. Embrace it. Enjoy it. Love it. Like it. If you want to hate it, that's cool too, but you got to do it anyway. So you might as well just like it. All right. Fake the funk if you need to, but it's part of the game. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm actually driving now and I'm on my way to go fill up an ATM. But I wanted to get back to you guys and let you guys know a little bit about what was going on. So like I mentioned, there was an ATM at the nail salon. I ended up moving it and I actually moved it already. I literally just brought it to do at the, um, the previous location, um, new another location i guess he has family like i mentioned like i told you guys in the video if you go check that out on how that pretty much happened and how i got that atm in their location um in that video he mentions how he knows or i mentioned that he told me that he knows a lot of like asian because he's asian a lot of asian you know nail salons and businesses around the neighborhood in the area in the city um and that he could kind of let me know you know where I could potentially put one so we ended up just taking it out and I drove over to the other place has paperwork with me had that paperwork get signed um, and we pretty much just placed the ATM so it was literally like a transfer within probably half hour all right it was super super easy super super simple um, but after that I went to go fill up another another ATM and then on my way to go fill up another ATM I saw that there was a, what was it, a barber shop that looked pretty interesting. So I stopped, went in there, talked to, I, I really wish I had this recorded because I think it would have been a good experience for you guys to see. But I went in there, I talked to the lady and um, there was two individuals and it looked like the worker or the employee was actually like doing the business owner's hair at the moment. They were both females and the owner seemed to be getting her hair like washed in a sink. So. Um, I didn't know she was the owner until the employee that I was talking to because I kind of went up to them 
and I'm like, hey man, you know, I was just coming in today to see if you guys might be interested in putting a free ATM into your business, into your barbershop or um, your salon or whatever the case it was. And um, when I did that, she kind of turned and looked down to the lady that was getting her hair washed and kind of reiterated what I said um, in English or in Spanish. So, come on, what's, what's going on here, y'all? Go, 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 go. Go. hit and stuff out here so um anyways um yeah so she kind of reiterated it and at first she was like no i'm not interested i was looking at the span the the owner and kind of listening to what she she was saying and um and as she was like shaking her head no the next thing that came out of my mouth was i actually pay the business owners every single month as well and when I told her that, that kind of like got her interest a little bit more. So that's just a little side thing y'all could do to help you guys land land a location when you're talking to people. Um, so when I did that, we talked a little bit more. I got some more information on them and about their business. Um, and she was convinced. She was she was like, yeah, let's do it. And when I kind of got her into that mode of like really wanting to do it, um, I started asking more questions. And the questions were, you know, how many people go into the business a week how many people go into a, a day how many barbers are there you know things like that are they cash only because you don't want to just walk into the business and just start asking those questions the first thing you have to do is get their interest because one they're not going to give you personal business information um just because you're asking for it so you have to get them interested and then you kind of ask those questions and then you determine from there whether you know it's a spot that you're willing to put it in or not so when i ask those questions um a few things I figured out was they weren't cash only. Um, they do a lot of cash transactions. She said that a lot of people come with cash um, into that location, but they weren't cash only. They don't take tips for cash. They use the card. And um, the foot traffic was about, you know, she said about between 50, probably a little bit more to 100 people a week that go into there. And for me, I don't think it's, I don't think that's enough. All right, I'm not going to put my locate my ATM in there because I don't feel that it's enough. And I told him, I was like, you know, I understand that's how many people come in. But unfortunately, I don't think it's, you know, based on the information you're giving me, I don't think it'll be a good spot for the simple fact that I don't think there's enough foot traffic. Because when you guys are doing this stuff, um, you know, every 100 people that go into a location, three to five people are going to use the ATM. So that means if I do the math, and 50 to 100 people, we could even say 100 people a week are going in there, right? That means that's five transactions a week tops when you kind of use that those numbers. And then, um, you know, five times four is 20. So if you have an ATM that's doing a $3 surcharge, that's um, what I say, 20, right? Um, 20 times three, 20, 40, 60, right? That means you're making 60 bucks, right? Yeah, 60 bucks, and that's just not worth it. You know, it's not worth me putting my ATM in there and going through all that. So um, it didn't work out. But then after that, and I went to the bank to go pick up some cash. And now I'm on my way. Well, I just got to another location. I got to go fill this one up. So it's been an adventurous day, to say the least. Um, been moving and grooving. Got to go back home, go train train some dogs. Got some other stuff I got to do. Edit this video, post this. Um, so I got some videos lined up for y'all. But this is nothing crazy, you know, just another day of, you know, being a typical ATM business owner, something y'all can see. Um, it's just kind of me just chopping it up, doing what I do. Um, so I hope this video is helpful. I hope you guys find value out of it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. You could also email me as well if you're new to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Check this video out. Check another video out, another one. Then, you know, get me your subscription if you feel that the value of the channel is worth it. And again, if you've been with me, for some time whether yesterday or the day before or you know eight months ago thank you thank you thank you i appreciate the love and support y'all always holding me down y'all make me do it because y'all motivate me so stay up stay blessed and much love and i'll hit you guys with another video hold up hold up hold up real quick before you guys go if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so by hitting this button right here and if you want to check out some more of my content be sure to click right here talk to y'all later